Hey guys, welcome back. I'm still here with the lovely Laura Gerber from Handout Group. And we talked in our last video, and if you haven't watched it, I'm going to link it below. But we talked about personal integrity and how personal integrity is really the foundation, in my opinion, for happiness. Um, and for all of it, all of our lives, right? Everything we build upon starts with our own personal integrity. So check that out. But one key, key part of personal integrity and to creating a life that lights you up, which is I always talk about that, is getting really clear on what your dream is. Because how can you even go start executing something or make a plan if you don't take the time to actually allow yourself to dream? Yeah, and sometimes we have so much baggage, we really don't even want to feel what our hearts might be trying to express. I Totally. I think I see that all the time sometimes where people are just actually so scared to admit that they really want that thing they want. I think we all go through that in different areas of our lives. Right. Um, and one of the great things that Laura teaches and Handel teaches is how to dream effectively. And it's funny because it really parallels, I do a lot of visualization stuff that's really important to me. And when I do any of my guided visualizations and stuff like that, I'm always like, how are you feeling? Yeah. You know, getting to that feeling. And I love that the method of dreaming you teach also really focuses yeah. on something that, um, what was that thing you said when I sent, when I sent her my dreams, uh, she was like, does this give you goosebumps? Right. Does it give you goosebumps? It's you such a good it. thermom thermometer, yeah. right? So yeah. give us some dreaming tips. How can people know how to dream? Okay. So, first of all, you're looking for four or five sentences. You do not need to write a book on this dream because if you are saying too much, you might be avoiding the very core essence of what you're trying to say. So, pick an area, love, career, health, body, sex, fun, spirituality, learning, whatever you're working on, and think about a year from now. If you were your best friend, your best cheerleader, you were removing obstacles left and right, what would be present? What would you have? What would you be experiencing? How would you be feeling? What would you be doing in that area of life? Make it juicy. Take out all the negatives. Take out all the extremes. Just say what you want if you can possibly just say what you want. And if what you say sounds generic or boring or like a brochure, try again. <laughs> Sometimes we do that. And ask yourself, what do I mean by that? Well, why? Why do I care about that? Until something poetic and delicious and juicy comes out of your mouth, you have not gotten your dream written yet. So you can write and rewrite until when you read that thing, it gives you goosebumps. I love that. And one of the other things um, you mentioned the other day um, at a workshop here in L.A. was do the air and the earth. And I really like that because I'm sure that's probably a question. You're like, well, am I allowed to say I want to make – $30,000 next month or whatever. And it's like, yes, well, let's talk about how you how that makes you feel and, like, what does that look like? Right. What is you making $30,000? How does that mean you interacting with the world? But then you can slip that into. Oh, yeah, yeah little... exactly. You want, the, you want the right balance between how it feels and what you're experiencing. And then you do want to anchor it with a few specifics. So always make sure there are a few specifics in there along with the broad generalizations. Amazing. And how often do you recommend looking at your dream? At least once a year, you rewrite them and then look at them daily or weekly at a minimum. I love them. Put them in your meditation nook. Make it part of your morning ritual. Every day with your tea or your coffee, you just take a minute to just say your dream out loud. Just honor it. Exactly. Magic. It's the most important <laughs> thing. Most important thing. It's the most important thing. Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are excited to write out your dreams. And do that right now. Don't do anything else. Literally, stop right now. Stop this video. Write your dreams right now because I know if you go do something else, you're not going to do it, okay? And then if you haven't watched our other video on personal integrity, you're going to not want to miss that because it's super, super important. It goes along with everything we talked about here. And then there's just one more video for now. <laughs> Probably harass her to do way more in the future um, on a really game-changing thing that really helped my happiness level skyrocket. So you're not going to want to miss that. Check the links below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.